Have you guys ever dated, hooked up, or had feelings? Be so for real. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to elaborate? <laughs> okay, let's intro it first. So. Okay, yeah, you go. Wait, I don't know how to, I don't know what to say. Is it because I'm here? Do you want me to leave the room? Actually, could you just turn around? <laughs> Give me something to, like, what, how do just I intro like... you? What do you want to be described as? A celibate. <laughs> Screen time extraordinaire. Entrepreneur, queen, <laughs> prime minister, but like, humble. Um, sexiest on planet Earth. And she's a Leo. And most importantly, this is Mary and she's a Leo. Okay, and today we're gonna, we actually, we did put a QA and a up on Instagram, but we've also got these. It's a would you rather and like a spicy would you rather. And we're just gonna have a little, a little powwow, a little kiki. And we're so good at it as well. We're so good at it. I'm Bree's best yapper. I've had one too many Ritalin and coffee today. That's why I have to drink this. Well, I don't even know why I'm drinking. It's, it's also like 2 p.m. <sighs> Why is a social construct for you? Relax about it. If yeah. you want to follow Mary on the internet, where can where can people find you? At Mary Fairy on Instagram and everywhere actually. Double A for Mary, double Y for Fairy. I also have OnlyFans. If you go on Mary's Instagram, you can find your way around dolls. I'm gonna ask one that, that our our friend. I would describe her as our, our best friend and our best friend's girlfriend. She said, "Who would win in a fist fight?" Me. I actually think you would. Because I know that had, I would. We had an arm wrestle once, and I was so confident. I made breathe. And it wasn't even close. That you're just very like unexpectedly strong. You don't seem like you would be. I like to surprise people. You did. I know. I was very drunk though, so it doesn't count. No, it, it does, because I feel like even now we would I would still win in an hour yeah, so would you really <laughs> Awa also said, how much would someone have to pay to get access to the group chat? <laughs> I would get euthanized before I would let anyone go through our group chat. It would have to be enough money that I could disappear forever and and live my life happily because it would ruin our lives yes i'm thinking a good 200 million that's not enough that's not enough that's more than enough to develop a substance abuse issue and die from it so true queen so true someone said how did we meet was it through social media we met because i went to tess's house who i didn't know our friend's our house friend. didn't know tess didn't know mary and you were in the backyard doing a photo shoot and it was oh like God. 12 p.m i love that you're saying photo shoot it wasn't a photo shoot it, it was, was. <laughs> on the floor posing. I don't remember meeting you then though. You were, I think you were plastered. Like I think you were quite drunk. I 100% was, was plastered. <laughs> We met on the side of the road pretty we much. We met on the side of the road. And I was in my underwear. Yes. <laughs> we met on the side of the road and I was in my underwear. This one says, are you lot dating? <laughs> the question on it, the, the question on literally everyone's mind. I actually screenshotted this message from my sister from last night. Oh my gosh, that's like an ongoing thing in mine and Brienne's life. Are we dating? I'll just reiterate what I've already said. What is the point of being gay if you don't date Mary? <laughs> Family asks it. Our friends ask it. Everybody asks the it. The internet asks it, and the answer is uh, no. No. Uh, this one says, "How tall are you?" A tall five ten. She's a short five ten, and I'm a tall. <laughs> I'm a, a tall five three. I am a tall five three. <laughs> I actually am. I'm on the cusp. Are you 5'3"? Yeah. Are you that short? 5'3". But um, no, I'm on the cusp, so I'm a tall 5'3". Have you guys ever dated, hooked up, or had feelings? Be so for real. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to elaborate? Have we? <laughs> I did tell Brie that I was in love with her once. Once? There were... There were like three separate occasions. When? Remember? Okay. Let's. Are you willing to unpack this? No, I'm willing to okay, unpack. Cool. Well, I can only remember one time. Oh no. Okay. No, two times. Two times. <laughs> there was. There was one time when I was re-entering a relationship. I got back this together with exit. my ex. This was like just before then. Or, when? Or, or in when we were broken up. I thought that this was the night before I flew out to America. That was the second time. When was the first? Wait, that was the second I can, time? I can probably find, because I remember texting Awa and being like, I don't know what to do about this. What? When was, I can't remember the time before that. Yeah. Was I wasted? Oh, obviously. The only time that I can remember is the, the night before I flew out to the States. Then, then there was that one too, which was also odd because you were going to, <laughs> you were flying to Texas to meet a Hey Mama's TikTok lesbian. No, oh, that wasn't, a, that was a glitch in the, in the That you dated for nine months and didn't come home and lived in Texas. I know, that was a really bad time of my life. And the life, thing though. is, there was a Gold Coast to Texas lesbian pipeline. It was... You dated an American as well. I... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, defending myself. You made this mistake yeah. as well. And you know what? <laughs> this is Gold Coast to Texas, babe, not Gold Coast to California. There was a pipeline, and it wasn't good. Because I wasn't in the Gold Coast to Texas lesbian That's pipeline. It, babe, it's not Gold Coast to Texas, it's just the states in general. So, I'm still 
caught up on yes. like on, on what? When the fuck did I tell you before at that time? I know. I'm I don't even so know what shocked at this. Search for this. Yeah. Wait, what it, was it in person or over message? We were at Awa's old house at Mermaid Beach. I think Awa said she felt bad or someone felt bad because her and Tess were like fully egging it on as they fucking do every single time. They do. They really do. <laughs> do you know what they never do to you? They only do no, to just me. just you. Just you. No, literally. And Al when you're drunk too. But I'm calling out Awa and Tess. Our two best friends, like it's so there's four of us. A lesbian coven of sorts. But our two other best friends they will only ever egg me on. They'll be like, no, you and Brie, you and Brie. But I was always really good at being like, no. And Tess is always- Tess is Tess caught came, on the gas. And Tess I know. Tess came up to us the other night. And she I, was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, you guys need to get over it. Cause she was on me the other night as well. Really? She just admit it. Just admit it. I'm like, there's nothing to admit. We've gotten on here and just spilled all of everything. <laughs> We've been doing this for 10 minutes. And we're just like, by the way, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Wait, I still am so confused about one second. This is the first time I have ever heard about this. She'll I have, get, she'll get, I have she'll, screenshots, babe. Oh, <laughs> wait, did I text it to you or don't I? I have screenshots. Am I gonna get embarrassed? Am I gonna get embarrassed? Okay, it's a, this, te it's a text you've sent to me. I've panicked and screenshotted it and sent it to Awa and be like, what do I do with this? Are you sure this isn't the night that I flew out to the States? 28th of June, 2021. June. 2021? Yes, Holy shit. This is what I'm saying. I cannot remember this. I don't even no, know. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. We, we don't even have to like open this. Well, you've already opened it. Well, we don't have to put it in. Do you want to read your messages? No, f no, I don't want to. Wait. This is a screenshot from my phone. No, I thought that this was when Jacob called. This is when I was on the phone with Jacob. I don't know when and you were he, Because everyone, so a thing with Brie and I is everyone has always, like from the beginning of our friendship, been like, everyone from the beginning of time has shipped us. But I remember talking to Jacob about it and he was like, I think you have feelings for her. And I was like, he would. He fucking would. Wait, did I declare my untying love for you as well the night before I went to the States? Or was, yeah, um, it, or was that this night? No, no, no. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there was me the just always declaring my love for um, Brie and her rejecting me. Anyway. Wow, we've never really spoken about We've this actually before. never talked about it. We've this. never. I love that it took a camera for us to talk about it. This actually has nothing to do with a YouTube video. This is just like. Nothing, you know what's I was like. <laughs> I remember calling you when I was in Vegas and it was just me in the hotel room. Yeah, I remember because I had... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, probably s**t and l**t were all in the background and I was on FaceTime to you. I remember being on FaceTime with you and being like, you need to tell me. I actually told Tess and Owa this like a couple of... they don't know? No. Oh. I remember messaging you after I'd like declared my f***ing, I don't know, undying love for you <laughs> and you being like, Mary, shut the f*** up. <laughs> so I took it very well. Yeah, I was she did really supportive. She took it great. She did perfectly. What did I say? I was like, you need to tell me right now that we'll never ever be together. Like never ever. And you were like, we'll never be together. And I was like, oh. Gutted. Can we also talk about the fact that you were with your girlfriend? I wasn't with my girlfriend. <laughs> she wasn't a girlfriend. She was a girl I'd known for four days. We don't even need these cars. We really don't. We really <laughs> I was gonna title this like advice with your gay aunties or something. It's just gonna no, be I'm like picking. I'm packing mine and Mary's unresolved drama. It's hilarious. It's like our friends or what? Tess and Ella are gonna have a field day. Next question. Next question. Who asked that? I haven't I have a word with them. Them. Like, by the way, it's two years of our backstory. Can you come to your beer? Obviously. Now this nothing. Is, this is the first time they're meeting you. And by the way. And by the way, here's all of our shit. <laughs> the camera's like literally yeah. shut the f out. You fucking freaks. You're gonna have to drink that beer. I, I can't because here's the thing. I have to it probably drive you home. No, I'll just Uber. No, don't Uber, because then your car will be on my street for five days. No, it won't. I'll Another thing Mary likes to do <laughs> is drive to the pub and leave Even her car there for four days. if you drove me home, it would still be... True. I probably had like 100 million drinks over the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm 30 yeah, years old. Yeah, because it was your 30th. Do you basically. feel weird that you're friends with a 30 year old? You, I feel weird that you're such an old bitch and like I don't know, <laughs> I'm so... You're not. No, your 30s are more fun than your 20s. Do you I've, know I've heard. My friend's friend said to her, 
if you're single at 30, then there's something wrong with you. I don't think so. I, and here's the thing. I think your 30s are your 20s, but you're more settled, more stable, more life experience, and usually have more money, right? Here's the other thing. The straight timeline is different to the gay timeline. So like straight people have these like sort of romantic experiences in high school, have the normal traditional timeline, can probably get married and have kids before they're 30. That makes sense. Probably yeah, there's so much to unpack when you're gay. Gay people are delayed, bro, because we had we had to work all that shit out first. It does mean like, okay, things that maybe people had done by 25 if they're straight, you do by 30 if you're gay. Do you know what? One thing that my brother did say to me, I can imagine it being very like, your life being very turbulent and confusing. Yeah. Because you were trying to figure out your sexuality and all of these things. Yeah, you were busy like, like having a crisis for years. A it long time. It up a lot of time, babe. So then like you're finding your footing later and you're starting from there. Yeah, and I was super careful. I thought I was gonna go to hell. And you still might. And you know what? <laughs> There's still time. At least all of my mates will be there. <laughs> we'll all be there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Take it as safe. Take it as safe. Take it as safe. And you only had one beer. I don't drink. I don't, that's Shut the other thing. Up. I don't drink. Do you know what? Another thing that Apart Brienne does. Eight, eight to ten mojitos on the weekend. She'll yeah. go, drink and tattoo people. Red, red, red. I can tattoo you right now. We've got a tattoo gun. Actually, maybe it's don't upstairs. Want to what do you want? Have you dated each other's exes? Tell us the gay law. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 We both hate one another's exes. Yeah, actually, there was a question in here somewhere that was like, who is the person you hate most in the world? Who's mine? My ex. <laughs> There's not a lot of people that I don't like. And all. even if people like do something wrong, I'm like, you know what? Like that was f***ed up, but like I don't have to do, I don't have anything to do with you. Yeah. Your ex makes me have a visceral reaction. <laughs> like I will think about her and it's like one of those things we like, you know, in movies and people like sit up and they're like, <laughs> they've had a nightmare and I'll be, I'll like think of her and I'll like sit up and be like. <laughs> Should we f***ing call it there and maybe do the, the would you rather? Never have I ever. Explicit edition. The first one we've got has, is eaten ours. What did we say? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Like some of these we fully can't put in because I think my mum might watch this. Never have I ever freaked freaked someone out with my kink, fetish, or sexual preferences. No. Yeah, but they <laughs> <laughs> who, who and what? You gotta bleep it. Mm -hmm. Not that they watch. It. Oh yeah, but he's like he makes roasts he's for he, himself. He does. Like he and is really straighty 180. He is. And I don't even know this man. <laughs> Never have I ever been on a bender for more than three consecutive days. Obviously. Please. What's your record? Probably like five, I'd say. Four, five? I would say like five. Yeah. I went to that festival in Europe. Oh, that was six. Okay, yeah. so that was disgusting. <laughs> Never have I ever paid for sex. No. No. I don't know why, but I thought maybe you might have <laughs> been convicted for a crime. Mm -mm. No. Committed crimes though. A plethora. Many. I was sitting right there actually and I got a phone call from you. You were like, I've got a tampon stuck in me because you were oh having phone God. sex and just went too hard and happened. And then couldn't get it out and I was, and then you rang me and we were on the phone. And I was like, just, I was like some lube, like just fucking get in there, you know? Like I get it out. Brie, when it was like, I was like, this is an SOS. It's not just like I've got it stuck like five minutes ago. It was an hour of like trying to cough it out of me, squat it out of me. Like it was everything I tried. Like I tried lube, I tried, I tried a spoon. You ever put a You tried a spoon? Obviously. What do you mean obviously? Like try, you weren't, you weren't just my natural like instinct to call, be like. Well, and I said go to the f***ing hospital. So did my mum and I said I'm not going to the hospital, it's 11pm. I still think you should have gone to the hospital, but what ended up happening, I was like, because <laughs> I live 20, 30 minutes-ish from Miami at that point. Our other friends live about five. I was like, go to Awa and Tessa's house, you've f***ing dated one of them and the other one's still a lesbian. Someone will, someone will get it out for you. I can't, I'm not going to be that person. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, you got. Well, this is your story. I don't know what I'm telling you. No, it was so bad. So I went to our friend, like our best friend's house. They're a couple, and then our other friend Jacob lives there. He's a gay man. And when I got there, because I called them up beforehand, I was like, guys, I'm gonna need a hand. I'm not going to. <laughs> 
literal hand. And I was <laughs> like, I'm not going to the ER. Someone has to fish this out of me. And when I got there, our two lesbian friends who were so fucking like seasoned with vagina, they were like, I'm not doing it. And both of them were yelling at each other like, I'm not doing it, you're doing it. <laughs> and they were fighting over who was going to scavenge this tampon out of my vagina, fish it out of me. Have you ever been so humiliated in your life? No, I haven't. I would have yeah, gone to the not. hospital and let a stranger do it. I'm going to be honest. I couldn't. I, can't, I can't do the waiting room. And so one of our gay mates, who's a boy, he was like... <laughs> Lay down. And so There's I. There's a video. Yeah, there is a video. I posted it all on TikTok. And I laid down. Which I'm shocked TikTok let you. I know you like covered. Well, I thought that it was going to get it removed. So I thought it would have as well. I was the one who removed it. You know, it. I've been on dates with girls and they've said, I know Mary from the tampon video. Don't say that to me. But Don't you... say that to me after I've just declared my undying love for you. Stop. No, but I have been on dates with girls and I'm like, oh, my friend Mary. She's like, oh, the tampon video. It's it's, so and it's not embarrassing. Not happened once, not happened twice, thrice. <laughs> Three separate girls. Really? If this has come up with. My mouth is so, my lips are chapped at the moment. Yeah. Okay, Clinton Kane. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that I hate him. Have you been to a swingers party? No, but I signed up for ones in the Gold Coast. Okay, fun. I haven't and I don't know if I want to. I think weird people go to those. Okay. <laughs> I would love to go to a swingers party. I, I see that for you. You should go to Berlin or something. <laughs> oh, it's like with someone I wasn't attracted to. Obviously. I don't actually know about that. Oh. Libra. This is why you start with hot and then you go from there. Oh, f***ing grow up. Never have I ever been nude in public, obviously. <laughs> Durr. Terrible one. Oh, had a pregnancy scare. Mm. Have not. Mm. You remember that time? Which one? That you... <laughs> Oh no, yes, there was a pre- I had a There was, of. because I didn't know you then, yes. and all I knew, because I was- I love that you're like, she's just the town bike. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. No, but I didn't know you then, and I was on the phone to you because you were having like a pregnancy scare, and I was like, who is Yes. This? And she's like, oh Mary, you met her on the side of the fucking road, and she was having a photo, a half naked photo. She was having a Whatever the fuck was going oh, on. Oh my god, yeah, that was a pregnancy scare. This is getting age restricted. <laughs> this is getting- <laughs> Locked in multiple <laughs> countries, probably. We can do a PG one. Mm -mm. Mm. Dated or hooked up with someone more than 20 years older than me? No. How old is 20 years older? 50. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long thing. I don't think so. Well, in your 20s, was there anyone like in their 40s? Honestly, I can't remember my 20s. That's but like, fine. I don't think, I actually don't think so. I don't think so. Been on a date just for a free meal? No. no. I hate dating. You don't like it. You Bree, really don't. Brie thrives on a date, which is weird. I, she do I don't know if I thrive. She's one thing to us. She's another behind closed doors. Mary, so many times, like, I just want to be a fly on the wall on your date. You think that this is some secret facade behind the curtain because you just want to know? No, you. Because I'm and like, you know what? You came on one of my dates. I did. I did. <laughs> didn't, didn't invite you. You, Awa, and Tess showed up on one of my dates. Lo and behold, they walk in drunk and start narrating a, a sex story about. And how good was it? It was really good. And Thank even you. even the girl I was on a date with. It was off the it cuff. Was, it was off the cuff. Mary starts like comes in with this candle that they bought from a sex shop, and starts. Narrating this like fa this improv fanfic about it was like what had dreams. Yeah, I'm sitting there. I'm on a date with this girl who doesn't know. I do feel bad for them. that because you. you <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. It was like, I don't say it was weird. That's the worst thing that possible that you can say if something was weird. No, it was just like I wasn't expecting it personally. How did you guys know we were there? You looked at my location. No, you told us where you lived. Oh, bitch. okay. Because I was like, where are you going? And I was scared that you were going to get lost because whenever I'm like, if I've had like a couple of drinks, I get so worried for my friends. And we were in Sydney, so this is like a different... I wasn't going to get lost. Even if it was Tess or Ella, I still would have been like... You still would have gone on, on their date with them. Oh, 100%. <laughs> if anything, I would have been walking hand in hand with them. I was like, I'm going to give this woman some privacy. <laughs> 15 minutes and then they all showed up. We were so And started drunk. just, just improv this fanfic. <laughs> I finished my cigarette and I walked back inside and I just sat at the table and I was like... 
get out of here. Sat at the table at my day, <laughs> and then you were like, I have to leave. I gotta go. <laughs> I must leave. Guys, I've got bad vibes. <laughs> Let's leave the two lovebirds to it. Okay. What was the question? I don't even know. <laughs> Been on a date just for a free meal. The answer was no, but you uh -huh. got the extra story anyway. <laughs> yeah. You ask one thing, you get 17 others. <laughs> Literally. Sent a sex to the wrong person. No, I'm not a fucking amateur, first of all. You probably have though, right? No. <laughs> I need to put my glasses on. Is that real bad? You can put your glasses on. Is it, are you that drunk? Oh, no. it's a C. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you so uh, much, though. It's, <laughs> it's this band. <laughs> <laughs> that scares me. <laughs> Laughed when seeing someone's genitals. No. No, no! I never. Do you know what? I'm wearing. You shouldn't ever peed myself as an adult. One hurt. Actually, no, I'll shit myself. But, but you didn't. Even didn't even 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 honestly, you didn't even need to offer that up. You never trust a fart. Never. That's a lot. That's a lot. This whole thing <laughs> is just like, actually, you asked one thing, we're gonna answer six, six <laughs> other things that no one asked. So, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway. Never have I ever had an STD. No. No. Never have I ever liked to get someone to sleep with me. No. No. And if you have to, red flag. Just really fing odd. Look at yourself in the mirror. Be Look, better. And you know what? And grow up. Kind of gross. Kind of mm, weird. Weird. What are you lying about? What's so wrong with you that you need to lie? Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's unpack that. Had a serious crush on a fictional character. I immediately thought Renee Rapp. She's not fictional though. You know who my type is? Who? Renee Rapp. Do you know who my type is? Who? Billie Eilish. They're the same person. No. In different fonts. My <laughs> first ever crush was Casper the Teenage Ghost, but like... <laughs> <laughs> I know you've actually told me this. You know who my friend's crush was is Scar from The Lion King. So I that's get not it. That. He's a sexy and man. Kind of is. Mine was Nala. Oh, yeah. God, you're fucking so gay. It's great. Yeah, there's actually a lot of juicy shit that we won't be able to put in. There is so much. There's like yeah. most of it. I don't think we, it'll be on my page. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> have you ever sent a you up text? Yeah. What? No, I don't think I have. Never? No. Okay, anyway, that's all for this <laughs> video. That's the most. What the f happened in the past two hours? I don't know. If anyone knows what's going on, um, mm. let us know. Thank you, I appreciate it. All of the good shit that we cut out of this will be on my Patreon. Love you guys. Thanks. Go, go forth and, and prosper. I love you so much. Go through. What is the f time? Two hours. It felt like five. <laughs>